Hey, this is Star Trek from Mars. I just got up, so I'm not a morning person. Oh, I'm a little bit graggy, but, uh... Here's a list of Station Index. It's called StationIndex.com. Here's a list of Las Vegas TV stations. And what I figured is, if you remember the Las Vegas Massacre, 22,000 people... I can really forget. There's 22,000 people there. This was a major event. So, what I figured out was they had to have had cameras there, right? I mean, the major media had to have had cameras. We haven't had any official footage. I've already dismissed that uh, so-called police cam footage. That video was so badly done. Uh... You know, a ten-year-old child could do better than that. So I've dismissed that as nonsense. So we don't have any official footage. Not from hotel, not from the media. And now, the hotel might be under uh, threat. They might have told them, I'm sorry, can't uh, release your footage. The hey, camera's all over the place, too. But the media, there's no excuse, because they have First Amendment right to let it out. So, I'll run down the list here of stations. What I did is I went and emailed them all. All the ones that have websites, basically. Uh, you have standard stuff. There are actually fewer stations than I figured, but it doesn't really matter. KSNV, KVVU, Fox, KLAS, CBS, KLVX, that's the uh, uh, Polar Bear Broadcasting System, KTMV, and it goes right on down the list. Most, most of us, I don't have websites, so I didn't bother with them, you gotta go on, track them down, go on Facebook, I'm not gonna bother with that. And what I did is I sent them all an email. And I'll show you, uh, the email is highlighted here, gentlemen, we are all aware of the events of October 1, it's Country Music Festival near Mandalay, Mandalay Hotel. The country music festival that was the day that name was a large one. That was attended by all of our all or most of Las Vegas television stations. It is reasonable to assume that footage of the event and the shooting rampage was taken by local stations such as yours. So far, no one in the media has released any of the videos shot for and during the shooting rampage as your responsibility to the public please don't shirk it well uh that's the email that i sent out one was uh well it's form input things but it doesn't really matter so here's what the response that i got was not that this really surprised me, but, uh... Here's my inner sanctum, here's my inbox. Me, Stephanie, NBC, CW, my TV, whatnot. Hi, Richard, thank you for your email. We did not cover the... the Route 91 Festival, nor did we have any working employees that are covering the event. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Our first and full journalists were only sent after we heard about shooting. Thank you, Stephanie Wheatley. You, madam, are a liar and you should have your mouth washed out with soap. You are a liar. See, here's how I know they're liars. And it's uh, 
look at any big metropolitan area. I live south of Rochester, which is fairly big. It's not as big as Las Vegas, obviously. But, uh, they cover all sorts of minor stuff. School sports, uh, knitting, ensembles, whatever. And you're telling me that these people didn't cover 22,000 uh, people at a uh, event like this? I'm not buying it. I'm sorry, it's a lie. So that's Stephanie Wheatley. For CW and NBC. And I sent a email to others. I call this guy a liar because he claimed. Let's see. John Huck. I forget which one he's with. I sent him an email and. Alright, this is News 8. We had no News 8. Camera crews at the event. There are a ton of concerts every weekend in Las Vegas, and it would be very rare for our news crews to attend any portion of a local concert, let alone there being a whole time. You may not realize how lean weekend crews are at local stations. They're only not as unbelievable. You mean you uh, feel more crews during the week? That is incredible bullshit. There are only enough crews to cover big stories, and the concert festival will not constitute a big story. Right, 22,000 people, now that's a small town event. This is uh, two old codgers with a fiddle and a string guitar or something. Come on. This is unbelievable that these people are doing this. They have a responsibility to the press to release the footage. Until what happened, this was just on the concert festival in Las Vegas. We do not have crews dispatch the scene until after the shooting. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Same bullshit, right? Same lies. Okay, so this guy works, Tom Axel, he works for the Pullet Bureau Broadcasting System, PBS. Uh, Vegas PBS does not have crew on site, so we have no videos to release. He might actually be telling truth, PBS works differently, they're not a commercial operation. I'm sure the rest of them covered this. I mean, we're talking some of the biggest names in country music, being Rich, Jason Aldean, I don't really consider them to be country and western, by the way, and that's a whole other story. But those are some of the biggest names. So, there you have it. We have no official footage. Think about this. A major outdoor event like this, we have no official footage. Nothing from the hotel, nothing from the media, and the media denies they have any cameras there. Maybe if I do some digging, I can uh, prove that they're liars. I call this guy a liar, sent him an email, I said, you sir are a liar. Well, not this guy, the other one. Uh, here's Stephanie, and I'm going to call her a liar right now, and I don't care. Okay, you, madam, are a liar. This was a major... This 
supposed to make sure that not two grannies. Not two grains and a fiddle and this is gross. You made him are a liar. This is a major event. Not two grains with a fiddle and string guitar. This is gross. Medium malpractice. I am dyslexic. This is gross media malpractice. So, right there, I publicly called her a liar. Because at least the commercial stations had, I'm sure, people there. They could have just as easily taken the footage and release it. I'm sure they did take some footage. I mean, make no mistake about it. They had cameras there. This was a huge, huge event. This wasn't anything small. Like we've been told. I mean, my cat is right across from the Mandalay Bay Hotel on the Strip. On the Las Vegas Gambling Street. Don't insult our intelligence. She has been called a liar, Stephanie Wheatley. You should have your mouth washed out with soap. I'm sorry, these people... I can't deal. I'm sorry. I gotta go. Thanks for watching. I can't deal. These people are liars. Somebody ain't cameras there, and we all know it. Not to mention millions of cameras in the hotel. Unbelievable.